Hey everybody, it's Phyllis here. Um, today's blog post is a video for you and you are maybe wondering what the heck you're looking at. This is my trash can and I'm going to um, just give you a little um, look-see into my, not trash, exactly my creative process. I decided that um, today's art project is going to be actually making a collage and I'm going to start with something I had thrown away which was yesterday's art project which I really really did not like at all so I gave myself permission to toss it and then today in the shower I was t you know I've committed to creating something every day, not necessarily, you know, a, a great work or anything, but just um, anything to engage in the process. And, you know, I wrote in my journal earlier about how much I love collage because I've also been of necessity kind of asking myself, well, what do I love and what am I interested in and why am I creating, you know, it can't be in a vacuum. It's got to be um, for something. And that's when I realized, hey, I'll bet I could make something cool out of what I discarded yesterday. So this is my artwork from yesterday. It was three drawings, three different drawings that I did. And, and I really enjoyed like giving myself permission to just tear them up and throw them away. And the reason they didn't go into recycling was because they had um, they have they have oil pastel all over them, so I don't think that can be recycled. So they sat on top of my trash. And then over here is my collage box, which has a pile of soul message cards on top of it that are going to go into collages because they have the wrong contact info on them. Do not copy this down. It's an older version of the soul messages and um, same messages but wrong contact info. So those are going into my collection. But I wanted to just show you that I have a box that has cool stuff in it and I add to it. And this is one of my ways that I feed, feed my artist itself. This is actually handmade paper that I got in Japan and I'm not going to give you... <laughs> I'm not going to give you a guided tour. Someone else made this. So other people's wonderful creations. I have the whole thing up here. See the, see the, um, these are the bumblebee prayer flags. Um, anyway, this is my whole creative mess right here. I love it. It's my little altar, big altar. Anyway, this is all my collage stuff. And it's all just drops of paper that I love and part of a Sark calendar. You guys probably all know Sark. The Wee Moon calendar, which is a source of great art. So it's not original um, to me, but it's stuff that I repurpose in collage. And it goes, um, collage is something that goes hand in hand with recycling and um, my sort of philosophy of life, which is, um, looking at unusual or unlikely juxtapositions and seeing what can be learned from them. It's sort of like a way of divination. So that's it. So in a second or when I'm done, I've given myself a half an hour, we'll see how long it takes. I will come back and show you my collage. Hey everybody, I'm back. It's about maybe a half hour later and I have created a collage. And I don't think I have too much to say about it right now. I have to live with it for a while. Let me give you a little closer view here. It probably is called Welcome Home to Yourself, You Perfect Creature. And it is. it features this giant in the middle root chakra study by an artist called Marianne. Bach, I think. I'll have to look it up. She's a main artist. I traded her these prints for a um, necklace that I made. And here it all is. 
and part of the Wee Moon calendar, and just random pieces of paper. And I don't have much to say about it. It's, I'll like I said, I have to live with it for a while. Um, but I really enjoyed the process. And that is the point for the 30 days of creativity. 30 day creativity breakthrough. All right, you guys, love you lots. Go make time for yourself and make something.